How's it going everybody? Welcome to a special little video I just wanted to do because this morning we got word from Jagex HQ that they finally announced the uh, first kind of official look at the new Twisted League, although it's not really called the Twisted League anymore, that was just the first one. This one's called uh, the Trailblazer. Hold on, I'm going to very unprofessionally switch to my screen real quick so you can uh, <laughs> see what I'm talking about here. So. They announced the, the, the second league, which is called Trailblazer. It's apparently going to take about two months, approximately. I think that's about how long the first Twisted League was. Or, uh, sorry, I guess just the first league. Uh, can we talk about that really quickly? I feel like the name Leagues is kind of, uh... Yeah, I'm not too fond of it. I feel like they should maybe because I think the first one they didn't really think was gonna be maybe as popular So they're just like yeah, screw it twisted league and uh, they, <laughs> so then they're like well We'll just name them all the leagues, but uh, so we got kind of some details on the whole uh, Situation I'm going to switch back really quickly to RuneScape because I'm a professional YouTube content creator so if you don't know, the, the Twisted Leagues are like a special game mode. Sorry, the Leagues. I'm going to do that about a million times during this video, so bear with me. The Leagues are kind of special in the fact that they're not permanent. They're a separate game world where... Uh, an instance, basically, where it, everybody starts new. It's fresh. It's like a... A new game mode, almost, kind of like the Dead Man mode, uh, where you have a certain set of challenges, a certain set of unique rewards, uh, and just like, it, it, it's like, a, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, advanced is not what I'm thinking of, like, uh, enhanced experience rates, so like times five experience for all skills, um, you'll have certain things that you can unlock, things that will make the game easier in general, but it's obviously set to, uh, the, the main thing is that it's like a set certain... They have set uh, patterns, like the first one, the Twisted League, was set only in Corrind, which is why I'm here right now. You, uh, It was all locked in Corrind, and you had certain tasks you could complete for certain rewards and points, which would unlock these things called relics, which would allow you to uh, have, like, infinite run energy, or um, you could attack one tick faster, things like that. So there was, like, a two-month competition, almost, to see who could unlock the most league points, which would unlock rewards, which you could then transfer onto the main game, which is some of the things I have in my inventory here. Um, just for a quick reference, I got Adamant tier, which is, like, the top 20%, I think, um, which is not bad. I was happy with that. I got about 6,000 league points, which was the main thing I was trying to get because that unlocked the Slayer Helmet uh, transformation, which I have right here, the Twisted League Slayer Helmet. That's how I got that. You uh, spend 6,000 of your Slayer points, I mean, sorry, your league points, and you can buy these things called the Twisted Horns. So you combine that with your Slayer Helmet once you have 1,000 Slayer points, and you get the Twisted League Helmet. As you can see, I have 40 points left over. So that's something that's going to be uh, important to remember when I get to talking about it. The uh, This next league coming up, you can use your previous league points for some of the rewards for the next league. So if you got like a million, not a million obviously, but if you ranked like top uh, 1%, the dragon tier, you would get, uh, you'd have so many leftover points. Now obviously I didn't have enough to buy anything else, I only had 40 left, but the only thing I really wanted was the Twisted Horns, so that worked out well. Um, you could get like, the, the outfit was pretty cool, the blueprints to change your house, the teleport scroll changes like your animation for your home teleport, and I think, oh, and the banner, but who wants the freaking banner? So that's basically what that was. And then you get a trophy for each tier you get. So like bronze, obviously being the lowest tier for like just playing the game, essentially. There was the iron tier, which was like top 50%, uh, steel, mithril. All I remember for sure is that adamant was top 20 because that's the percentage I got. Then there was rune, which was like top 5%, and then dragon, which was the top 1%. So I didn't get that rank that high, obviously, but I was happy with my progress. I actually... Uh, covered a lot of the first Twisted League on my previous channel, um, so I'm planning to do that again with the second league, the Trailblazer League. Uh, it's a lot of sleepless nights, lots of hard work trying to keep up with everybody, but it's a lot of fun. It, uh, it did burn me out, actually, the Twisted League. One of the few times I actually got burnt out on RuneScape was because of the Twisted League. I just played, it's because I played it non-stop, uh, and it's, you know, you're locked in one area, so it gets a little boring and a little repetitive, but it was fun at first, um, but the content had to happen, baby, and it was popping off. But anyway, let's talk more about the second upcoming league, the Trailblazer League. So this one is going to be Mithalin, Mithalin based, which essentially means I was trying to look up where that was exactly. At first, I thought that was just like all of RuneScape. Like I thought Mithalin was every kingdom, but it's apparently just, where's it at? It's like this kingdom right here. So uh, they've already said that you're not going to be able to go to Corrind, 
the, the fact that they say that makes me wonder if it is, like, the whole thing. But they have specifically said it's the Kingdom of Mistelin, which is, like, Draenor around here, Lumbridge, some of the desert, maybe, uh, and then, like, up here, maybe in Varrock, maybe Edgeville. Um, but I'm not sure, though. I'm wondering if it's going to be more than just this. Like, because why would they state specifically that you couldn't go to Corrin? Hold on, if we go, uh, let's go back to my professional screen swapping here. If we go down here, so see it's area locked, so you will start in Mistelin. You can unlock more areas by completing a fixed number of tasks, so you'll start out in the middle area. And then you can unlock more areas as you complete certain tasks, but you can only choose a certain amount. Right here, you can't go to Corrin and Kibos. So that's kind of what the, because that's where the first league took place, I'm assuming they just don't want you to go back there because why would you want to do the same thing over and over again? I don't freaking know. So you'll be a fresh iron account, obviously not a uh, hardcore iron man because what would be the point? You'll have a five times accelerated XP rate and uh, all the other regular iron man restrictions. So they will start off with some certain quest rewards because like let's say if we're starting off in the middle of Mistelin, you won't be able to complete Lost City or Druidic Ritual for certain things. Uh, but there will be other tasks that you can do to unlock other parts of the area. Hold on, sorry, let me switch back to RuneScape here. There we go, boom. So, you will start just in this general area. But I'm assuming you'll do some certain tasks. And they've laid out a list of, like, general examples. So, like, enter the cooking guild. That's a specific task. You complete that, you'll get certain rewards that you can then use to unlock other areas to go and explore. So it's going to be different for pretty much every person this time. Because you're not going to be locked just in one certain area. Some people are going to go one way. Some are going to go the other. Uh, there's going to be probably general tasks as well, it says. Like, um, compla uh, obtaining a mark of grace or cooking a certain amount of sharks. Uh, and then the obviously specific areas like the one in Varrock for receiving a Slayer task from Fanaka, so on so forth. They've talked about some relics, hold let me switch one more time <laughs> back to good old Jagex's news post here. Um, some of the relics are going to return from the previous one, so here's like an example of some of the really good ones like resources gathered from fishing, woodcutting, and mining will be multiplied by two. That seems really good, but remember you can only choose like one of these per tier. So you'll get one choice of these. And then you'll move on to the next tier. Now, the way you unlock these relics is by completing certain tasks as well. Uh, certain specific tasks will reward more points or less points. Once you hit a certain uh, threshold, you'll unlock one of these relics to make the game easier or more advantageous to you. So there will obviously be more pathways depending on the way you want to go. Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm not on the client right now. And then obviously there's going to be more rewards. They've actually said that um, in this Trailblazer League that people were complaining it was too easy? Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. See the- oh, here we go. Here's the tier list, by the way. So I ranked right here. As you see, I have the Adamant Trophy. Um, this was like- apparently these guys were like, yo, we didn't have enough to do. So it's a two-month thing, right? Uh, and I guess if you have, you know, no life, you can uh, just play constantly, that there's now going to be a potential of a top 100? I don't know how many was the top 1% anyway to begin with, but top 100, that's pretty crazy. Um, so there's going to be... Uh, oh, and if you got a pet in the first one, you'll also get that one. It'll just transfer right over. League right-click icons, I like that a lot. So a unique symbol representing the tier. So like if someone right-clicked on me, they would see the adamant uh, like helmet next to my name. I wish they would do that with like the hardcore Iron Man and Iron Man symbols, like in the main game. I don't know why they don't. Because, you know, you have to talk. Otherwise, people don't know you're an Iron Man. Why not just put the right click icon on your name now don't know i'm excited about this right here league rank world so if you ranked mithril adamant rune you will have a, a world that only people that ranked that high will be able to access so say there's a certain thing going on like maybe a slayer monster like there's a bunch of people camping gargoyles well you can go to like a adamant locked world and you'll have a lot less competition um so that's nice. Uh, there's only one I'm not going to be able to access, which is Rune, which is fine. Uh, now, this is something I don't really understand, League Armor Sets. So if you placed higher in the previous leagues, you'll be rewarded Armor Sets. Like, it says you'll be no higher than Mithril. I don't really think that's going to be that beneficial. I don't know why I even throw it in the game, but that's just my... Uh, that's just my thoughts. I don't know why what's the point, you know kind of and then uh, they don't really have any main discussion on like the rewards yet But I'm super excited because uh, I'm afraid it, hopefully they don't do like similar things You know like hopefully they don't just do another slayer helmet reward or like another if they do an outfit I'll probably get the outfit this time because I don't want to grind out another slay a thousand slayer points for a helmet um, Hopefully they get maybe some like I don't know maybe like a cape 
or maybe a unique something or another. I don't really know. I'm sure they'll figure it out. I'm sure they're going to pull it. They don't have a release date just yet, but apparently on Monday, which this is coming out on Saturday, if I got it edited fast enough. So on Monday, we're going to learn some more stuff about it. Hopefully, they'll maybe drop a release date. I'm hoping it's really soon because I'm super excited for the content. Um, because like I said, when I played the first league uh, on my previous channel, which unfortunately no longer exists, I won't get into it right now, uh, it was a really big turning point for my channel because it was fresh new content people were digging it so hopefully i can do the same thing for this one but um i hope you guys i i know that we don't really have a whole lot of information right now they just kind of announced it this morning out of nowhere kind of caught us all off guard but i'm looking forward to it a lot um i'm hoping it doesn't burn me out this time though i'm gonna be it, it, i guess it depends on when they release it because i think last time they released it during like I'm trying to think. It wasn't summer, was it? Like, I had maybe it was Christmas break. Maybe that's what it was because I had tons of time to play it. So I'm wondering if they're gonna do it like because people are gonna be starting back in school soon, back in work. So a lot of people are gonna have a lot less time to grind this out. I know they don't necessarily care, but I'm just kind of thinking of playtime. Hopefully, I don't get burnt out though uh, because I want to keep playing on my hardcore Iron Man. So we'll see, but I do know whenever it does come out, I'm going to be playing it. I'm going to be throwing out tons of content, so I hope you guys are ready for the Trailblazer League. Is that what it's called, the Trailblazer League? Kind of a lame name if you think about it, but I, why, why is it called that? I guess because you can go to certain different areas. I don't really know, but uh, big. Uh, if you have lots of leftover points from the first league, you don't even really have to play this one because you'll have plenty of banked points you can just buy the rewards because your reward points stay from the previous leagues and you can even use the new points from the new league to buy the old rewards so that's why they're not necessarily impossible to ever get again you just have to compete in the league so that's kind of interesting i guess but what do you guys think are you guys excited for this i'm uh i'm super I i'm gonna be putting out the content either way because i'm gonna be excited to play it so I hope you guys are ready to to watch it. It's a lot of fun because it's such a unique and interesting way to play the game. And it's kind of a breath of fresh air. Uh, and, and it's like, you know, a dead man tournament essentially without it just being revolved around killing each other. Which I'm all about because I hate PKing. I hate all of it. All of it's get it out of the game. Get it out of my adventure game. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit. I might post the uh, link of the uh the news post if you want to see it for yourself but you can just also go to runescape's website check it out there thank you guys for watching i hope you guys will uh tune in whenever the the league starts hopefully it's soon though i am kind of excited to get into it so let me know what you guys think i will see you very soon thank you guys for watching subscribe if you want so you don't miss any of the league coming up uh content coming up because it's gonna be poggers dude but until then boys and girls i will see you in the the next thing I post tomorrow, don't know what it is yet. Maybe a hardcore Iron Man episode. I got it pretty much done. So maybe then. But until then, boys and girls, I will see you next time. Bye.